we will learn how to configure a MuleSoft pipeline. For the purpose of this video, we have created a MuleSoft trial account and set up a sample repository in GitHub for MuleSoft. Here's a broad overview of the process to configure the MuleSoft pipeline. First, create the Git repository record to connect your MuleSoft Git repository with Capato. Next, create the different environments that will be part of the pipeline, your local dev environment, staging, and production. Once you have created all the environments, create the pipeline record to define the order in which changes will be migrated. Next, create pipeline connections to establish the links between the different environments. After that, create the project record and link your MealSoft pipeline to it. Finally, create environment system properties and pipeline system properties to store sensitive and non-sensitive values in Capado. All right, let's now go through these steps. Before you start, make sure you have downloaded and logged into the MealSoft application and then continue the steps. Go to the Access Management tab and click the Environment sub-tab. Here click the Add Environment button to create the three environments, Staging, Development, and Production. To create our production environment, click the Add Environment button. Now, enter production in the Environment Name field. Select Environment Type as Sandbox and click the Create button. Similarly, create the dev and staging environment. Remember that the environment type will be sandbox for each. Next, we shall create a connected app on MuleSoft. So go ahead and click on the Connected Apps tab. Click the Create App button. Enter Capato Trial Application in the App Name field and select the option that says, the app acts on its own behalf. Now, click the Add Scopes button to proceed. Next, select the scopes to add to the app. Now, drag the slider to enable Capato Business Group. Select the three environments, staging, dev, and production for the scopes we chose. Click Review to proceed and save the app. Well done. Now, let's proceed to configure the MuleSoft pipeline. First, create a new Git repository with your current Git service provider. For the purpose of this video, we have chosen GitHub. Go ahead and integrate the same repository to your Capato. To create the Git repository record, navigate to the Getting Started tab from the App Launcher. Go to the Git Sub tab and click the New Git Repository button. Please fill all the required values such as MuleSoft in the Git Repository Name field and select Metadata as the source format. A Git repository can be easily connected using HTTPS or SSH authentication. Here, we have set the authentication type to SSH. Next, populate all the remaining fields and click the Save button. As you can see, your Git repository record has now been authenticated. Now, to create different environment records, navigate to the Environment tab from the App Launcher and click the New button. To create the development environment, enter Development in the Environment Name field. Select Platform as MuleSoft and set the environment type to Sandbox. Now click the Save button. Our development environment is now created. Similarly, we need to create the other remaining environments, Local Dev, Staging, and Production. Remember that the platform will be MuleSoft and the environment type will be Sandbox for each. Well done. The next step is to create the pipeline record. Navigate to the Getting Started tab from the App Launcher. Select the Pipeline sub-tab and click the New Pipeline button. 
Now, enter the Capado trial application in the Pipeline Name field. Select Platform as MuleSoft and click the search icon to select the Git repository. Enter Main in the Main Branch field and flag the active checkbox. Now click the Create button. Next, click on the icon to open the pipeline record. Here, under the Automation section, enter Mule underscore Promote in the Promotion Job Template field and enter Mule underscore Deploy in the Deployment Job Template field. Now, click the Save button. Good job! Our Capado Trial application pipeline is now created. Let's now create pipeline connections to establish the links between the different environments. Navigate to the Pipeline Connection tab and click on the New button to create three different pipeline connections. Please refer to Table 1 in the unit for details on the source environment, destination environment, and the branch. Now, enter Staging in the Source Environment field. Select Production in the Destination Environment field and enter Staging in the Branch field. Now click the Save button. As you can see, our first pipeline connection is now created. Similarly, repeat these steps to create the remaining two pipeline connections. Now, we will create a branch for each of the main environments, dev, and staging in our MuleSoft Git repository. To do so, click the Main Branch tab, enter dev in the Switch Branches field, and click the Create Branch button. Our dev branch is now created. Similarly, repeat the steps to create a staging branch. As you can see, branches for dev and staging have now been created successfully. We shall now create a project record and link the MuleSoft pipeline to it. Navigate to the Projects tab. Click the New button to create a new project. Enter Capado Trial Application in the Project Name field. Under the Pipeline field, click on the search icon to link it to the pipeline created earlier. Now click the Save button to create the project successfully. We shall now create the Environment System Properties. Navigate to the Environments tab to open the Environment Records. Click to open the Development Environment and navigate to the System Properties sub-tab. Now click the New button to create the Environment System Properties. Please refer to Table 2 in the unit for all the values required to create environment system properties for the development, staging, and production environment. Here we shall create system properties for the development environment. Enter Mule App Name in the Property Name field. Enter Mule underscore App underscore Name in the API Name field. Now enter the App Name as Capado Trial Application in the Value field and click the Save button. Similarly, using the details given in Table 2 in the unit, we will need to create other system properties for the development environment. As you can see, all our system properties for the development environment are now created. The way we have created the system properties for the development environment you need to now similarly create the same system properties for the other two environments, staging and production. Now, let's create the pipeline system properties. Go to the App Launcher and select the Pipelines tab. Click Capado Trial Application to open the pipeline and navigate to System Properties sub-tab. Click the New button to create pipeline system properties. Please refer to Table 3 of the unit for details on the property name, API name, and values. Let's now create a system property to save the Mule Client ID. Here, enter Mule Client ID in the property name field, and enter Mule underscore Client underscore ID in the API name field. To retrieve the Mule Client ID value, navigate to the MuleSoft Anypoint platform. Go to the Connected Apps tab and copy the client ID from there and paste it in the Value field. Next, check the Hide Value checkbox. 
so that the value is encrypted and hidden for all users. And click the Save button. Next, we will repeat the process to retrieve the Mule Client Secret value from the Anypoint platform when creating the Mule Client Secret System property. Now, create the remaining pipeline system properties using Table 3 in the unit. Now, let's navigate to the Pipeline Manager tab to see the MuleSoft pipeline. Good job! Now you know how to configure a MuleSoft pipeline. Go ahead and create a MuleSoft pipeline and experience new age deployment now.